the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this rosary, we pray for all the souls of the faithful departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from where he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the so beginning. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. In this mystery we pray for the souls of Vincentian fathers, the souls of priests who minister to us, and all other priests, religious and consecrated. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphant over death, rose again on the third day, glorious and immortal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord. In this mystery, we pray for the souls of those nearest to heaven. We pray for the souls longest in purgatory. And we pray for the souls who have no one to pray for them. Let us now contemplate how our Lord Jesus Christ, 40 days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of his most holy mother and his apostles and disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. 
In this mystery, we pray for souls who died suddenly, souls who died a tragic death, and souls who died without church burial. Let us now contemplate how our Lord Jesus Christ, being seated at the right hand of God, sent, as he had promised, the Holy Spirit upon his apostles, who after the ascension returned to Jerusalem and continued in prayer and supplication with the Blessed Virgin Mary, expecting the fulfillment of his promise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this mystery we pray for the souls of our family tree, the souls in purgatory because of our family, and the souls of those who prayed for us. Let us now contemplate how the glorious Virgin many years after the resurrection of her son, passed out of this world to him and was taken bodily into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of our blessed mother in heaven. In this mystery, we pray for the souls of evangelists, for the souls of intercessors, and for the souls who died serving their nation. Let us now contemplate how the glorious virgin was to the great jubilation and exultation of the whole court of heaven, crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory, and how all the saints rejoiced with her in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The litany of the souls in purgatory, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Mary. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Holy Mother of God. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Michael. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Gabriel. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye holy angels and archangels. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Joseph. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Peter. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Paul. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint John. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All you holy angels, all you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Stephen. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Lawrence. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye holy martyrs. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Gregory. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Ambrose. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye holy bishops and confessors. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Saint Catherine. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye holy virgins and widows. Pray for the souls of the faithful departed. All ye saints of God. Make intercession for the souls of the faithful departed. Be merciful. Spare them, O Lord. Be merciful, hear them, O Lord. From all evil. O Lord, deliver them. From your wrath. O Lord, deliver them. From the flame of fire. O Lord, deliver them. From the region of the shadow of death. O Lord, deliver them. Through your immaculate conception. O Lord, deliver them. Through your nativity. O Lord, deliver them. Through your most holy name. O Lord, deliver them. Through the multitude of thy tender mercies. O Lord, deliver them. Through your most bitter passion. O Lord, deliver them. Through your most sacred wounds. O Lord, deliver them. Through your most precious blood. O Lord, deliver them. Through your ignominious death, by which thou hast destroyed our death. We sinners. O Lord, deliver them. We sinners. 
We beseech thee, hear us. O you who did absolve the sinner woman and hear the prayers of the good thief. We beseech thee, hear us. That you would release our deceased parents, relations, and benefactors from the bonds of their sins and the punishment for them. We beseech thee, hear us. That you would hasten the day of visiting your faithful detained in the receptacles of sorrow and wouldst transport them to the city of eternal peace. We beseech thee, hear us. That you would shorten the time of expiation for their sins and graciously admit them into the holy sanctuary into which no unclean thing can enter. We beseech thee, hear us. That through the prayers and alms of your church, and especially by the inestimable sacrifice of your holy altar, that you would receive them into the tabernacle of rest and crown their longing hopes with everlasting fruition, Son of God. We beseech thee, hear us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant them eternal rest. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant them eternal rest. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant them eternal rest. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. From the gates of hell. Deliver their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. O God, creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants the remission of all their sins, that through our pious supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desired. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the giver of pardon and the lover of the salvation of men, we beg your clemency on behalf of our brethren, kinsfolk, and benefactors who have departed this life, that by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the saints, that you would receive them into the joys of your everlasting kingdom through Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, to whom it belongs always to have mercy and to spare, be favorably propitious to the souls of your servants and grant them the remission of all their sins, that being delivered from the bonds of this mortal life, they may be admitted to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine.
Praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, especially all of you who are with us spiritually through live stream us. My dear friends, today our Catholic Church honor Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. She was born at the beginning of 13th century and after married uh, Louis IV, they had uh, three children, but through his permission, she began to take care about the poor, the lonely, the orphans, sick. And when her husband passed away, she entered the third order of Franciscan. And then with full power, she began to take care about those less fortunate widows, orphans, sick, you name them and she saw in them the face of the new Christ. So let us pray together through the intercession of St. Elizabeth that we will also see among us those in need, those less fortunate, and try to help them the best we can. Let us begin our liturgy by the entrance antiphon. Come, you blessed of my father, says the Lord, I was sick, and you visited me. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brother, you did it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor. Grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees, chapter 7. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. Most admirable and worthy of everlasting remembrance was the mother who saw her seven sons perish in a single day yet bore it courageously because of her hope in the Lord. Filled with a noble spirit that stirred her womanly heart with manly courage, she exhorted each of them in the language of their ancestors with these words, I do not know how you came into existence in my womb. It was not I who gave you the breath of life, nor was it I who set in order 
the elements of which each of you is composed. Therefore, since it is the creator of the universe who shapes each man's beginning, as he brings about the origin of everything, he, in his mercy, will give you back broke breath and life, because you now disregard yourselves for the sake of his law. Antiochus, suspecting insult in his words, in her words, thought he was being ridiculed. As the youngest brother was still alive, the king appealed to him, not with mere words, but with promises on oath, to make him rich and happy if he would abandon his ancestral customs. He would make him his friend and entrust him with his high office. When the youth paid no attention to him at all, the king appealed to the mother, urging her to advise her son to save his life. After he had urged her for a long time, she went through the motions of persuading her son. In derision of the cruel tyrant, she leaned over close to her son and said in their nat native language, Son, have pity on me, who carried you in my womb for nine months, nursed you for three years, brought you up, educated, and supported you to your present age. I beg you, child, to look at the heavens and the earth and see all that is in them. Then you will know that God did not make them out of existing things, and in the same way, the human race came into existence. Do not be afraid of this executioner, but be worthy of your brothers and accept death, so that in the time of mercy, I may receive you again with them. She had scarcely finished speaking when the youth said, What are you waiting for? I will not obey the king's command. I obey the command of the law given to our fathers through Moses. But you who have contrived every kind of affliction for the Hebrews will not escape the hands of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 17. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Response, Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from my lips without deceit. Response, Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. My steps had been steadfast in your path. My feet have not faltered. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Response, Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Response, Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Are you reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke? Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell them a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. He said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain a kingship 
for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with this until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take courage of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take courage of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him and gave it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as, a, as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, those of you who have the opportunity to celebrate Holy Eucharist every day and are familiar with uh, the readings, they find out very easily that today's reading from the book of Mahabi is just the continuation of yesterday's reading. And probably you remember the old man, Eleazar, who gave a beautiful example of what does it mean to just put in practice what we learn. Because following the Latin word example speak louder than words. In today's first reading we see just that not only one person but a mother and her seven sons just following the testimony of the elderly man from yesterday's reading, Eleazar. I guess that most of you are mothers, so you know what was going on in the heart of the mother watching her children dying in torture and I don't like to go through it because there are no human word can express you know the pain and the suffering and yet what make her strong and her children was the deep belief that life is changed not ended 
Shri truly believe that the whole universe is a God's creation, created because God is love. And out of love, he created anything. And he created the human being in his image and likeness. Created them not just to be here temporarily in this world, but for eternity. This basic faith is just the foundation of the action. And beautiful words that only mother can address to her children. I do not know how you came into existence in my womb. It was not I who gave you the breath, breath of life, nor was I who set in order the elements of which each of you is composed. Therefore, since it is the creator of the universe who shapes each man's beginning as he brings out the original of everything, here in his mercy will give you back both breath and life. And then, do not be afraid, this is her address to her last, the youngest son, do not be afraid of this executioner, but be worthy of your brothers and accept death, so that in the time of mercy I may receive you again with them. My just friends, the month of November in our Christian Catholic tradition is the time that we in a special way pray for those who passed away. Because like those before us, we truly believe that life is changed, not ended. That here on earth we are just pilgrims. We are pilgrims to our true destination, life eternal. A home prepared for us by God our Father. Every time we are able to be physically present in the church and receive Holy Communion physically, we know that before Holy Communion we make a kind of procession. And this procession is just a reminder that we are El Pilgrim people. We are coming to Jesus Christ to receive the bread of everlasting life. The bread of everlasting life. The Holy Eucharist. My just friends, we know that because of human being, we need some strength, some grace. And that this is exactly what we are receiving. The grace and blessing and the strength from Jesus Christ, the Eucharistic one. Today's gospel is also reminding us about something that we often forget, that all of us are very precious to God, that all of us are very unique. There is no division between us in the eyes of God. But we must also remember that each of us received the fullness of God's grace, the fullness of God's gold coins. It is not important that someone is receiving 10 gold coins, someone five of one, because each one of us are receiving the full amount of God's blessing and grace. Now it's up to us to do something with it. Today's saint, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, is a good example of it. None of us can be like her, are very wealthy persons. But each one of us 
can do something even with a small amount of our talents, our gold coins. Because like in the 13th, 13th century when she was alive, St. Elizabeth, we have still among us people less fortunate than ourselves. We are, have still people among, among us who need our help. Maybe they are not looking for money, but what they are looking for, that at least we can see them. At least we can show them our attendance, our smiling, our guest of happiness, joy and love. That they can feel out that they are not lonely, forgotten. This is exactly what we can do. Because what I said yesterday, there are so many places that only you and no other person can reach. So let us remember that here on earth we are pilgrims, that our destination is life eternal, that each one of us received a gold coin. Now it's up to us to use it, to show others through us the loving face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Let us now offer to Jesus, through Jesus Christ, to God our Father, our prayers of petitions. For the church, may she continue to encourage us to turn away from possessions and turn toward Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may might hear the call of the Lord to provide for those who suffer in their midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, that they may receive comfort to help alleviate the times of struggle. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of this faith community, that we might come to recognize the face of Jesus Christ in those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who passed away, especially our family members, friends, neighbors, that they may be received into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that we are to offer to God now from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we offer these petitions with a desire to follow you, free from all that distracts us from your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the midst of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may it be accepted by you, Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate the Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of St. Elizabeth, be confirmed in the love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lend us courage the fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of, the of the world, world. for by, by your, your cross, cross and resurrection, and resurrection you, you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for being with us this evening, especially all of you who are with us spiritually. I wish all of you a joyous and blessed night. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Prayer for priest. Risen Lord Jesus, you love priest with all your priestly heart. Hear my heartfelt prayer for all our priests. I pray for faithful and fervent priest, for unfaithful and tepid priest, for priests who labor at home and abroad, for lonely and desolate priest, for young and old priest, for sick and dying priest, for souls of priests in purgatory. Merciful heart of Jesus, remember all our priests. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and burning love. I ask that in their loneliness, you comfort them. In their sorrow, you strengthen them. In their frustration, you show them that it is through suffering the soul is purified. Eternal High Priest, keep all priests close to your sacred heart and bless them abundantly in time and eternity. Amen.
salutaris ostia, quicheli padis bella premunt hostilia, daroba fair Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We welcome you to this Wednesday adoration, this time that God has designated for each and every one of us to be in his presence. He loves us so much. And like a loving father, a loving brother, a loving friend, he invites us to spend this time in his presence, to spend this time in front of this most holy Eucharist, the sacrament of love, sacrament of holiness. As we just experienced this holy mass, we know that when a priest, when an anointed and chosen one of God takes what is mere bread and mere wine into his anointed hands and after the prayers of consecration they become the body and blood of christ and we know that that very body and blood that are consecrated during the holy mass that that very body and blood for us today is before us in this moment and we thank the Lord for just bringing us here, for calling us each by name. The word of God says that he calls us by name. He knows us, every detail of our being. So we thank him. We start today's Wednesday adoration service in just thanksgiving and thanking our savior for this day of life. There are so many today that couldn't wake up that didn't wake up, that didn't know that perhaps last night or this morning they would take their last breath. But we have this opportunity yet again 
whether it's evening where we are, morning or afternoon, whatever time of the day or night, we have this opportunity to thank him. So let's just thank him in this moment and just say, thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of the most holy sacrament. We thank you, Lord, for this gift of love. Just thank him in this moment. Brothers and sisters, as I'm also worshiping and, and just looking at this blessed sacrament and adoring, it's not just mere looking, but it's adoring him. I'm reminded of, of something that I recently underwent. By God's grace, I was able to, I, I left the country for some time and I went to a town in, in Portugal and it's um, Santarém in Portugal. And in this town many years ago, centuries ago, there was a Eucharistic miracle. And as I'm just thinking of just how many times the Lord has shown the world that he's real and he's truly present in the sacrament. And as I was able to adore this Eucharistic miracle, it's not the fact that I was able to go there and see, but I realized just how much God loves each one of us. That so often, even after he's already revealed himself in the gospels, he's already revealed himself as a son of man, as a savior, as the redeemer, that his precious blood has saved us. He reveals himself yet again through these wonderful miracles that he's performed throughout the centuries, through wonderful Marian apparitions where he asks the world for repentance and conversion and change. And to even this moment right now, and when I experience that Eucharistic miracle, the reason why I'm bringing it up, and I start even this Wednesday service in this way, is for anyone who, who has any familiarity with that Eucharistic miracle, it has to do with the fact that someone went to receive the Eucharist or went to Mass and then did something improper with the Eucharist and had a plan to do something improper with the Eucharist. And in return, the Lord, the host started bleeding and for those that want to learn more about the story, you can certainly look it up. It's something in Portugal. It's a well-known Eucharistic miracle. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is despite God showing us so often that he is real, even while I was in that town, I began to see this, this influence of, of the negative powers. Praise the Lord. And, and the reason why I'm sharing that, and I'm going to read from the gospel, from the word of God in Acts, and I'm going to start in this way, in that God has brought these miracles, God has chosen us to, to be in front of his presence, God has chosen us to receive the Eucharist, but oftentimes he's also asking us to leave something else behind. And in the word of God in Acts, we read where Paul was performing these mighty miracles through Jesus. Praise the Lord. And, and I can't, I'm not going to read the entire passage, not yet, later if the Lord permits. But essentially, when anyone got close to Paul, whether it's his handkerchiefs or aprons, and they touched him, all the sick were taken to him, they were healed of their illnesses. And then others tried to perform a similar miracle, but they were cast out and it didn't work. And through all these different occurrences and acts with the apostles, they began to see that it was only in the name of Jesus that all these different evil afflictions could be cast out. So I'm bringing this up and, and connecting it to the Santarang um, miracle and connecting it to all these different things is that there is so much power in the Eucharist because it's Jesus himself. If Paul, an apostle, in just touching him through the power of God that resided in him, so many evil afflictions could leave, how much more? How much more powerful is the Eucharist to change our hearts and to set us free from any evil affliction in our families, in our lives? Any evil affliction that we believe we might have, we don't know we have, we've been told we have, whatever the circumstance might be. And later, if God wills, I'll read from this, this, this chapter in Acts. 
But essentially, at the end, after everyone witnessed this miracle, just like the miracle of Santarang in Portugal, after everyone witnessed the miracle and knew all the surrounding situations, the witchcraft that was involved in it, after everyone witnessed it, they came to believe in Christ. And so as we sit here before the Eucharist, as I tell this story in, in a roundabout way and try to connect it to Acts, as we sit here in front of the Eucharist, yet again, the Lord is performing another miracle in that this bread, this bread has become the body of Christ. And he's right in front of us today. So before we sing the first song, let us just contemplate on that fact that this bread has be, is the body of Christ, that he has the power to save, that if Paul, an apostle, a disciple, when people came and touched him, they could be set free of these evil afflictions. When people witnessed this deliverance, the believers that had believed in the occult, it says here in the word of God, they practiced magic and collected their books and made a bonfire of them in public. Given that all these miracles began to happen, these deliverances, they gave up these practices. And I share one last story before we get into the praise and worship, because I think it's important. As I was in this town and I witnessed the Eucharistic miracle, I also encountered a lot of different people. And I'm bringing this up for a reason. And I met a soul, and I'm going to tell the beginning part of the story. And the soul basically told me, I was once Catholic. In this beautiful town with this Eucharistic miracle, I was once Catholic. But because of all the circumstances in her life, she was introduced into what she doesn't know to be the occult and began to practice all these false beliefs. Brothers and sisters, as we begin this Wednesday adoration, these topics are quite heavy. Let us begin to surrender all those areas, all those false beliefs. As we praise God in this moment and we sing, we are here to praise you because we are here to praise him. As we sing, we are here to praise you. Let us reflect on all those times. It doesn't have to only be the occult. I'm referring to a specific situation. But all those times where we've had false beliefs in the world, in money, in things, in things that don't bring us satisfaction nor healing. And let us begin to surrender it to him and to praise him for all the goodness in our lives. Let us close our eyes and lift our hands in this moment and sing together. To praise you, lift our hearts and sing. We are here to give you the best that we can bring, and it is all. Rising from our heart Everything within us cries Abba Father We are here to praise you Lift our hearts and sing We are here to give you the best that we can bring, and it is our love rising from our heart. Everything within us cries. Delight. 
heart and mind that will that say I love you Lord help us now to give you pleasure and delight heart and mind that will that say give you pleasure and delight heart and mind and will that say I love you Lord Lord we take those lyrics into our hearts and we desire to live them most profoundly Lord often the world teaches us that likes and loves and all these different things that are part of this world's creation and way of being are what define us but Lord we know very well sitting before your presence kneeling or standing adoring the ultimate creator that it's not a like or a love or a dislike that guides our hearts but it's the love of God that impels us to move forward to go forward Lord, we are here to praise you because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even have gotten up this morning. As I said earlier, many did not even have a chance to take another breath today. So Lord, we are here to praise you for the breath that we are taking in this moment. We were created for love and we were made out of love. And the love that you've given to us, Lord, we desire to give it back to you and to the world. So, Lord, we thank you and we love you. Jesus, there is none like you. Lord, we thank you for every difficulty and trial in our lives. Lord, we praise you for all the times that the world has opposed us, that the world in its ways have placed stumbling blocks in our lives. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we continue to thank you and praise you, Lord. 
We continue to praise you with our whole being, Lord God. If you're wherever you are, brother and sister, I invite you by the holy love of God to stand wherever you are, to kneel wherever you are, and to adore your King. He is worthy of praise. If we are here united together praising him, it's because he's given us this opportunity. Let no one, let nothing dissuade you, but be persuaded and compelled and impelled by the love of God. Our words are not sufficient. Our words are not enough. Our words are just mere words. But if our words are inspired by the love and the power and the love of God and the Holy Spirit, how much he will fill us. The word of God says with utterings and sighs too deep for words, that is what our prayer is like at times. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you by the love of God. If you feel sad today, if you feel like the world is always against you, if you feel like even those in your own parishes, in your own churches are against you, let that not disturb you nor deter you. But come to him who is a loving father, a loving brother and a loving friend. We praise you in this moment, Lord God. We lift up our hands in this moment. I invite you again just to lift up your hands. Jesus, we love you and we worship you and we praise you because there is none like you. I worship you with my whole being, Lord, as if I wasn't worshiping you on a YouTube prayer service, but as if I were worshiping you and as I am sitting in my own room, Lord, I close my eyes in this moment. I open my heart. I open my soul to my loving Father and I worship him because he is worthy worthy because he is worthy and there is none like him. Lord, you are the alpha and the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the slain lamb of God. You are the lying of Judah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. I thank you for this life. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, keep praising him wherever you are. Just worship him and thank him. Praise him in tongues if you have the gift of tongues. Praise him in your own words. Praise him with sighs too deep for words. Praise him in this moment. Everything that you have. Let nothing disturb you. St. Teresa of Avila, a beloved and strong woman of God, and she wasn't strong in the ways that the world now tells women to be strong, praise the Lord. She was strong in that her love for God, her desire to do the will of the Father, superseded her own love for herself, her own love for the things that she wanted, her own love of the world. If anyone knows St. Teresa of Avila, she liked the things of the world at one point in her life or was drawn to them. But St. Teresa of Avila said a beautiful quote that many of us know, Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing bother you. Only God is sufficient. In Spanish, I actually know it better. It says, Que nada te turbe, que nada te espanta. Solo Dios basta. God is enough. Brothers and sisters. God is enough. He's beyond language. Maybe many of you joining today speak English. Maybe many of you speak another language. But God is beyond language. And we just praise him in whatever words come to our hearts in this moment. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we worship you. We thank you and we worship you. And before we get to the next song, I said earlier that I was going to read from Acts. And I'll read from it now. Because I think it's important to listen to the word of God. And it says here, This is Acts chapter 19, verse 11 through 20. And this is what it says. So remarkable were the miracles worked by God at Paul's hands that handkerchiefs or aprons, as I mentioned earlier, which had touched him were taken to the sick. Praise the Lord. It's there on your screen. And it says here that when face cloths or aprons that touched his skin were applied to the sick, their diseases left them and the evil spirits came out of them. Praise the Lord. And then we go on to verse 13 and we read onward. But some 
itinerant Jewish exorcists try to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those with evil spirits, saying, I adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. So the word of God says, I adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. So they were referring to Paul. And then in verse 14, it says, when the seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish high priest, tried to do this, and onwards it says, the evil spirit said to them in reply, Jesus, I recognize, Paul, I know, but who are you? And the word of God continues. The person with the evil spirit then sprang at them and subdued them all. He so overpowered them that they fled naked and wounded from that house. And we keep reading in the word of God as we're shocked with the story, which is reality. When this became known to all the Jews and Greeks who lived in Ephesus, fear fell upon them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was held in great esteem. And we continue to read in the word of God. Many of those who had become believers came forward and openly acknowledged their former practices. Praise the Lord. And as we continue to read, but as I mentioned earlier, you know, when we when we confess our sins, the word of God says we are set free. We are healed like a bomb that is placed over us. Praise the Lord. And as it says in 18, and we'll move forward again, but I'll repeat again. Many of those who had become believers confessed the name of Jesus. They came forward and openly acknowledged their former practices. And then verse 19 says. Moreover, a large number of those who had practiced magic collected their books and burned them in public. They calculated their value and found it to be 50,000 silver pieces. And we continue to read in the word of God in the last verse from this chapter. Thus did the word of the Lord continue. Praise the Lord. Thus did the word of the Lord continue to spread with influence and power. Let's just meditate this on, meditate on this for a moment. So God is here as we meditated on just how powerful the word of God is. We're going to sing the same song again, that we are here to praise you. And this time, let us just sing again. And just as I mentioned earlier, just stand up and surrender all those things in our lives and our family's lives. Perhaps there are things that you know in your family, bondages and, and chains that in your, in your family that you're aware of perhaps others that you are not aware of. But right now, let us stand and praise him and just claim that he is good. And in the same way, in the same way that he did in the time of the apostles, through the apostles and through the disciples of God, in the same way that he set people free, in the same way that people in experiencing the miracles of God renounced all their evil ways, renounced all the ways that were not of Christ. Let us in this moment also just with a heart of repentance, renounce everything that we've done. And in the name of our families, let us just say, Jesus, I surrender my family. You can repeat in your home, Jesus, I surrender my family. Jesus, I surrender my family. Jesus, I surrender my family. Jesus, I surrender all the bondages in my family. You can repeat after me. Jesus, I surrender all the bondages in my family. Jesus, help us and set us free. Jesus, help us and set us free. Let us sing together the same song. We are here to praise you. And with one heart, let's just come together as one family. Lift our hearts and sing. We are 
moment brothers and sisters and just praise him
worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, we love you, Lord, repeating together. We love you, Lord, we love you, Lord. You, Lord, are holy, Lord. We love you, Lord. We just thank the Lord for his immense love. We thank the Lord that he's here with us right now. Jesus, thank you. How much you love us. How much you love us. I want to share one more story with you, brothers and sisters. I don't share these stories simply to just share a story, but it's just as we reflect here and we meditate on our lives and our families and all our needs. I'm reminded of just so many souls throughout the world that are in so desperate need and thirsty for the Lord. I recall a soul I met not too long ago, and this soul didn't speak the same language as me. And the language she spoke, I barely spoke the language. After spending one or two days with her, we try to communicate in the best way possible. We always hear that Jesus is beyond words. The Holy Spirit is beyond words. So we try to communicate and oftentimes I struggle to try to explain things to her and tell her certain things. But by day two or day three, or I believe it was day two, as I tried my best to understand what she was sharing because it was so important to her I tried my best to respond, but essentially the summary of the story is this. She was a, someone I recently met and I couldn't understand her. Like at first I thought she was telling me about a divorce. Really, I didn't speak the language. It was so hard, but finally I understood. She was telling me the story about her family. She was a woman and she's living in this country and she raised her three daughters by herself. So much pain and suffering. I finally understood what she was trying to tell me is that 15 years back or so, she was young, she was a young mother in her 30s or 40s, early 40s. Her husband passed away. I don't know the circumstances. But she was telling me that the pain in her heart, even after 15 years, was so great. And it was not only because her husband was the love of her life and how much she loved him. And as I tried to explain to her, no one can replace that love. But I tried to talk to her about Jesus in the limited time and words that I had. But the thing that disturbed her the most, that worried her the most, were her children. She would spoke since the moment I met her, from the first instance I walked into her home, the first thing she showed me was pictures of her daughters. And she knew I was of a specific um, descendancy. She's like, my daughter married this guy and he's from the same country as you, all these different things. She was so proud of her daughters. But by day two, she told me about the pain in her heart about her little one. Her youngest daughter was now 20 or 21. And when her husband died, her daughter was about three or four. And she was unconsolable as a child. Can you imagine a child losing her father or a mother? But in this case, it was a father. There are no words that you can tell that child to console them to tell them, daddy's not coming home. Brothers and sisters, both parents are always essential, but in the life of a daughter, a father figure, in the life of a son, a mother figure, both parents are essential. But that father is so critical. The mother now was in tears crying to me. I don't worry about my other two daughters. They're good, we're better now. They support me, I support them. But my youngest one, since she lost her father, 
It's as if she lost her way. This mother, as I could sense the pain in her heart, so many things I wanted to share. In my limitedness, I wanted to share about the love of Christ. And, and you know, I'm sharing this because, you know, the Holy Spirit inspires each and one of every one of us. And to, to share where I was, I was in France. And that very morning, and I want to share this with you, brothers and sisters, I don't know how religious she was. I had just come from a specific place. I told her I had been praying. I shared my faith as much as I could. And that very morning, I had picked up a French Magnificat. I don't know why I picked it up. But after speaking to this woman, the Lord just, in my heart, spoke to me, find the Magnificat and give it to her, because it's the Word of God. Brothers and sisters, I, I'm switching ahead of the story and I'll come back to her story. But we are always, always called, you know, the, the word of God. We, we're called to preach the word and, and sometimes use words, right? But we are always called to be living testaments of God. In whatever limitedness, we are imperfect. We are sinners. We know that. But as many say, perhaps you, perhaps I, perhaps whoever is around you, you are the only Bible anyone will ever read. So I pray that even wherever she is today, that she's opened that Magnificat and begun to read the word of God again. Because she told me she read the Bible in the past. So going back to the story, when she was sharing with me, this one daughter, like the prodigal son, right? Had two sons, but it was that son that went away that he was most worried about. This mother with three daughters worried most about her little one. Because that loss of a father had such a profound impact. Brothers and sisters, I'm speaking about the human loss of a father. I don't know where you are today. I don't know how you are joining this prayer service. I don't know how often you pray, how often you don't. I don't know how many parents you still have living today or if they're not living today and with us today but are in heaven. But today, Abba Father, your Father, my Father, our Father, as the Word of God, as the Word of God says, and as that beautiful prayer says, which comes from the Word of God, our Father who arts in heaven, our Father wants to be your Father today. If you feel alone, if your family often feels damaged, if you feel like the circumstances and the burdens are just too heavy to bear, your Father, my Father, our Father, wants to alleviate those burdens today and he wants to be your father again he's always your father but he wants to remind us that his hand is never too short to save the word of god says that his hand is never too short to save so as we listen to this next song mighty to save let us believe that no matter what circumstances we're going through today that doesn't define our tomorrow, and that doesn't define who we are as children of God, as children of the Almighty Father. Let his anointing and his presence and his grace flow upon you today. I claim that in his presence because we are in front of him. Let his anointing and grace and the power and the love of God flow upon you today and heal you and set you free from every affliction. Are you burdened today? Let that burden be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sick and, and afflicted today let that sickness and affliction be lifted up in the name of jesus christ do you feel like there is nothing else to live for let the hope and salvation that lord has promised come to your house in this day lift up your hands in this moment as we sing this song but just before we sing the song let us praise again one more time jesus i praise you jesus i love you hallelujah 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 holy 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 are you let the anointing and grace flow in this moment hallelujah 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 let the anointing and power of god flow in this moment upon you and upon your household in this moment hallelujah 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 Holy, 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 holy are you. You have the power to save. You have the power to break all bondages. You have the power to break all sinfulness. You have the power to break all forms of oppression, Lord God. You alone have the power to save. Your anointing and grace are flowing upon in this moment. We claim all the promises in the word of God, the promises in all and throughout the Bible, Lord God, the promises of freedom and deliverance, the promises of healing in this moment, Lord God. And we sing this song together in one voice with one heart and say you are mighty to save. You are mighty to save. 
saved. Jesus, I praise you. It is never enough. Our words are not sufficient, but let us praise him at all moments. The word of God says we need to pray at all times, at all times, 24-7. Let us praise him in our hearts. Let us thank him for this life that we can never thank him enough for. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, 
author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave he can move the my god is he is mighty to save forever as heroes and conquer the grave jesus conquered the grave lift it up for him savior he can move the mountains my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation heroes and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave Thank you Lord that you are mighty to save. We thank you Lord. We thank you Jesus for being with us on this night. Lord our family comes before you. We ask for strength, comfort and protection on this night. We pray for our families that as we each of us go about our daily routines that you guide our every step. Lord, we don't know what the future holds for us or our families. But Lord, you do. We ask right now in faith that you go before us and you make the path straight. Lord, give us the wisdom every day to make the right choices. Give us the strength to keep going when life becomes difficult. Lord, we will not only trust in you, we will rest in you and we know that nothing is too difficult for you we continue to thank you for all that you've done in our lives we continue to praise you and worship you on this night thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord Let us all just unite together and just thank the Lord for this evening. Thank him for being with us. And what I just prayed before was a beautiful family prayer. It was a family prayer asking God for protection and for God to be with us and our families. As we close tonight's prayer, the adoration, let us bring this anointing and grace to each one that we encounter in our homes first tomorrow in our jobs and wherever it is that the Lord brings us. Let us always be that living word of God for all of those around us, despite whatever challenges we might be going through. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what your week has been like thus far. Maybe you've been anxious or nervous. Maybe there are those around you that were sick or those that needed to get a surgery or an operation and you were anxious about it i don't know your situation but in that anxiety the lord says in matthew come to me all ye who labor and i will give you rest on this night he wants to give us rest the word of god says over and over do not fear so let us close this night taking that into our minds not to fear that God is always with us and he is mighty to save.
Let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, guard and protect us. St. Michael the Archangel, guard and protect us. St. Michael the Archangel, guard and protect us. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us now just humbly adore our Lord in silent adoration. Let us continue to adore him and praise him and thank him for the gift of our life the gift of our families, and the gift of this very day. Amen.